Nothing says vacation time quite like a boat ride on a big lake, and there are some truly remarkable lakes out there. But do you know which countries have the most beautiful lakes ever? Continue watching, because we're about to list the countries with the most beautiful lakes of all time. Let's dive right into it. Lake Adelan, Guatemala. Lake Adelan, located in the Guatemalan highlands, is one of the most visited places in Central America. This landscape is ideal for looking for perfect spots for hiking, camping, kayaking, horseback riding, and simply enjoying the scene. The lake is small, only 26 square kilometers, but surrounded by volcanoes, of which the main one is Adelan. Lake Adelan is a jewel that owes its fame to the Mayan culture that lived there for over 5,000 years. Lake Adelan is located about 2,000 meters above sea level and is surrounded by temples. It is an ideal destination for any traveler interested in ecotourism and nature. One of the most exciting trips you could do is climb to the active volcano Agua. The climb is 7 kilometers, but at the end, you will see the magnificent crater of the volcano, which will leave you breathless. Another recommended activity is to go horseback riding. The horses, native to this region, are descendants of the ancient Mayan and their gait is very pleasant. Finally, if you like hiking, you can do the ascent of Mount Adelan, which reaches 3,000 meters. The area is famous for its heights and geological formations. Not to mention, Lake Adelan is enormous. It's 100 kilometers, about 60 miles long, and up to 23 kilometers, 14 miles wide. The lake has three central bays, the larger one being the main one, and dozens of smaller bays. It is 36 meters deep, and the deepest point is approximately 60 meters, 200 feet. It's called El Escondite, or The Hidden. The lake is fed by 39 rivers and 17 streams year-round by snowmelt from the surrounding mountains. Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia The Salar de Uyuni's breathtaking beauty is completely real. The Salar is 10,528 square miles of salt and at nearly 4,000 feet above sea level. It is the highest navigable lake in the world. The lake is pretty big, but so are its surroundings. Almost the entire Bolivian Altiplano is covered in salt, and the desert stretches on for many thousands of miles. The Salar is so large that it takes weeks to explore it on foot. To get around, most most people hire a three-wheel taxi called a 4x4. The 4x4s are surprisingly comfortable, and the driver navigates them using the map he printed from the Bolivian government website. One of the most exciting parts of the trip is when the 4x4s drive you to the edge of the Salar. Here, you have a panoramic view of the entire desert and the lake below. The Salar looks like a vast mirror from the border, reflecting the sky and the earth below. In good weather, it's possible to watch the sunset, sunrise, and stars reflected in the lake. Pejo Lake, Chile Pejo Lake is the largest lake in the Patagonian region. It is surrounded by magnificent mountains and is covered with glaciers. The lake is surrounded by different fauna species, such as the Magellanic penguin and the Humul deer. The Torres del Paine National Park was created in 1951 protect and conserve the forests and glaciers of the area. The Torres del Paine National Park is located in the south of Chile and is guarded by Paine Grande, a 2,900-meter, 9,000-feet-high mountain. It is composed of three granite towers. In 2008, the park was declared a biosphere reserve by UNESCO. The park contains glaciers, lakes, rivers, and forests and it's home to a great variety of flora and fauna. Due to the presence of these ecosystems, the lake is home to a large variety of flora and fauna. The glaciers of Pain Grande, located past Pejo Lake, are part of the southern Patagonian ice field. This region has the highest concentrations of glaciers in the world. The rivers that flow from the area are fed with snow from the southern glaciers. When the lake was created, the Rio Peo, which is one of the main rivers of the area, was dammed to control the flow of water. The dam created the lake, but it is still possible to access it by boat through the Puerto Natales, Titicaca Lake, Peru, and Bolivia. In 2009, 5.7 million people visited the shore of Titicaca Lake, generating 1.3 billion U.S. dollars. The most visited areas are Puno, situated at 2,650 meters above sea level, and Tequila and Amontani. The lake discovered in 1911 is 1,400 kilometers long, 320 kilometers wide, and 230 meters deep. In the north of the Bolivian side, there is an island called Isla del Sol. It consists of a peninsula with a bordering lake and a 10-meter high cliff, on which there are stone terraces. About 400 families occupy the terraces and mainly produce raw material for the textiles industry. The climate here is very humid, with an average temperature of 24.2 degrees Celsius and annual rainfall of 4,500 milliliters. The lake is home to the Andean pink pelican, the jaguar, the puma, the anaconda, and the flamingo. The lake is also home to about 300 varieties of fish. On the shores of the Titicaca, there are more than 150,000 hectares of crops. Lake Hillier, Australia Lake Hillier in Western Australia is a unique place, but why are its waters pink? Well, this is because of salt-loving algae known as Duna Liel Salina, which thrive in alkaline conditions. They are common in other parts of the world, but Lake Hillier is the only lake in the world where the algae grow naturally. The algae produces spherulites, which are like pearls. The spherulites are 90% pure calcium carbonate and contain no organic matter. As a result, they don't dissolve in water. The algae turn the water slightly pink, but the lake is still mostly clear. The pink coloration lasts from November to March, depending on the amount of sunlight. Lake Hillier, which is about 60 kilometers long, is inside the Lake Hillier Nature Park. The park's geology includes granite 
granite, dolerite, and marble. There are several myths about Lake Hillier's pink color. One myth talks about a Welshman who sailed from Scotland to Western Australia. When his ship reached the shore, he swam to a shore and found a freshwater lake surrounded by salt. So, he swam back to his boat, and when he returned, the lake was pink. Wakatipu Lake, New Zealand. In 1650, Dutch merchant Willem Schouten was the first European to sight Lake Wakatipu, now one of New Zealand's most magnificent attractions. The lake was formed by an earthquake that hit the Otago region in 1781. The earthquake caused a landslide in a gorge, and the dammed river was freed. The landslide created the lake, which now flows south. The southern part of the lake, 80 kilometers long and up to 1,900 meters deep, is called the Southern Alps. Lake Wakatipu is a place named after the Indian god of water. According to Maori legend, the god descended from the sky, and when he reached a mountain range, he grabbed the top of it and threw it back down. The mountain range, in turn, was named Wakatipu, which means where the god threw down his mountain. West Hangzhou Lake, China The West Lake, officially known as Shujing Lake, is 22 square kilometers and the largest water body in Hangzhou. The lake is 12 meters deep and is surrounded by mountains. Legend has it that the lake was created when Emperor Wu of Han and Queen Wu of Zhou were fishing. As they threw their fishing nets out into the water, Emperor Wu caught a pearl. Queen Zhou then threw her lotus flower into the water and caught a pearl as well. So they both threw their pearls into the water, and as the legend goes, they formed the lake. The lake is divided into two parts, the East Lake and the West Lake. West Lake has the Qianhai Bay, part of the Qiantong River, and most of West Lake is occupied by lotus flowers and mountains. The mountains surrounding the lake are over 1,000 meters tall, including Mount Yue and Mount Wu Sui. The hills with lotus flowers have many varieties, including white lotus, red lotus, pond lotus, small lotus, fragrant lotus, and crab claw shaped lotus. West Lake is one of the most beautiful lakes in China. Locals even believe that the lake is one of the most beautiful in Asia. Baikal Lake, Russia. Lake Baikal is really amazing. It's so deep that by volume it contains about 20% of the world's fresh water. The lake is so huge that it's bigger than some European countries like Switzerland or Austria. Of course, being so big, Baikal has a lot of islands, which are really interesting to visit. However, since 1960, the lake has been subjected to a number of studies to determine the level of its contamination of heavy metals. The investigation showed that the soil on Baikal shore is contaminated with mercury. But fortunately, this mineral is not found in the water. The surrounding forests are very healthy, and in 2009, scientists compared the forest fauna of Lake Baikal with the fauna of nearby Baikal lakes. They found that there are thousands of species of animals. During this study, they also discovered that Baikal Lake is home to a number of rare species which are not found in any other part of the world. So, which one of these majestic lakes would you love to visit? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.